I did have a drink, yes. Okay. They said that we almost hit a child, but I didn't think that we did. Did uh, anybody get hit? She went behind us in through the water because and are just on the up. On oh my God. Her, her bond, you got flood insurance or whatever they call it? You're gonna need it for this one. On May 27th, 2023, police were dispatched to New Smyrna Beach in reference to a female driver who sped her vehicle through a crowded beach, nearly hitting several beachgoers, including young children, and ended up in the water. They followed the tire tracks in the sand and found a blue SUV parked in the ocean. Yeah. Oh, I was on the beach and there's a car, oh. that blue car came over here and almost, um, yes. yeah, that's where we're going right Yeah, he's getting crazy. Okay. Who's driving? They're over there. We're just some of the people they almost hit, like okay. this little girl right here. Driving? No. Speak English? Yes. Okay, what happened? Um, I'm not sure. I was the driver and they kind of stopped us and they said that we almost hit a child. I didn't think that we did. Um, that's what they told us. I just thought that we got stuck in the water. We were just trying to get out of it, but um, that's what they told us, and we're just trying to. Um, and then there was so many. We're people. just trying to be accepted through everything, and not. And there was so many people. Like, yeah, well, the people are down here because you can't drive on this part of the beach. I'm so sorry. We we were driving from New Smyrna, and we got over here. And I'm we were so just trying sorry. to turn around. We didn't think that we could do a U turn around here, so we just. I'm trying to keep going. Maybe I'll look in the car real quick. So who was driving? You or her? I was driving. You were driving? Yes. Okay. No, but I didn't think that we could do a U-turn. I thought we had to keep going. Well, there's no there. driving at all over here. I'm so sorry. We were driving from New Smyrna. I know. I'm, I, I, I really But where those so rocks sorry. are and those poles that say no vehicles, there's no driving beyond that. We have a sticker that says that we were parking like on the beach. We, we weren't. Right. So I, I take full responsibility, I was not in the car. Yes, please, like, like, and then there was so many people. Like, please help us. And then there was so, so much of a crowd. That's a, hey, careful. Whoa, shoot. Yeah, no, we weren't, I mean, my shoot. I don't even know how to get out of here. They drove it down here. No, we drove it down here from this morning. Oh my god, I'm afraid of the water. Yeah, we do. What are we going to do? We're going to figure it out. Please help us. Who will? Who? Did anybody get hit? This one right here. It was inches away from hitting her. Oh, okay. Anyway, I'm going to get out of here. Okay. 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 I was beating their phone. Okay. Massa, hey, be careful. Whoa, shoot. Yeah. Hey, man. Yeah. She was so far. Oh my God, I'm okay. You have your license on you? Yes, I do. It's in my phone, but it's in the car. I would get your phone out of there. Your car is not going to be moving for a while. Okay, can I get it? Yeah, go get your license and your phone. Is the, is the tide going to get bigger? Yes, and good. I'm sure that everybody you must hit ruined their day too. Remember those really big poles? Every one of them has a sign that says do not cross here, do not pass. And we weren't driving. Is there anything you want in that car before the water gets in there? Because we can't move it. It's good. It's stuck. You know, you understand that. No tow truck can get back here or anything else. So what do we do to get that car out? Wait till the tide goes down. Maybe about six hours. How, how do we get everybody to get away from us? This is the beach. They're free to be here. Yeah. You still up all There's no way you would drive over here though. Like, nah. I don't want you to feel surprised. Right no, you can't. We always had to take him back to the station and do it in the parking lot. So what I want to do is talk to her a little bit more. 
the uh, it's probably gonna go for the UI. Sarah. So you've been drinking today. Yeah. Number I'm one, not good because you're diabetic. Right? Yeah. How about you? I did have a drink, yes. Okay. Just it one. Was but you know what? Yes. My only Do you have a way to get home? I'm not going home without her. She's gonna go to jail. Okay? No. Alright, so you can go with her. Or you can stay out and get her out of jail with a bond. And why am I going to jail? So right now I think you're driving under the influence. Okay. Alright? No. Then we got reckless with multiple people over here. You were inches away from multiple people. Okay? I, I, I see it. I have a... So your best thing to do for her instead of fighting with us and arguing no, with us? No, I would not. I'll tell you what her bond is. It's probably going to take us a good hour to do the paperwork. And then try to bond her out. No, I, I, I'm not going to argue with you. Okay. Alright, Sarah, you go ahead and turn it up on it. Oh my god, please. No. Yes. Sorry. <laughs> what do I do now? Call the Blue County Branch Jail and get her bond. No, she'll have a bond. You can bond her out. I will. I will. Are you hurt from any of this? No, sir. Okay. Do you have anything on you that we need what to know about? You need to call someone to come pick you up. Alright, this is the Volusia County Branch Daniel Daytona Beach. That's where she'll be. She'll get all the free phone calls she wants while she's in booking. Oh my god. Her, her bond's only going to be $1,000, so 10% is $100. Alright? I will get her out. <laughs> so I'm going to go get her in my car? No, please. No, it's, just do I'm, I'm just telling you what's here. happening. Relax. What do I do? Go ahead and call Connery, okay? You got her for a minute? Just yeah. call Connery. Alright, right, come on, Sarah. You're going to arrest me too? No. Here's what's going to happen. She's going. You need to find somebody to come pick you please, up. Please, don't no, leave no, me just, here. Oh, please, I'm begging you. Hey, I have to go. Listen. I, how do I tell somebody I'm here? I'm begging you. Okay, hurry up and call somebody then. I, I'm calling, I'm calling. Please don't go. I don't know where I am. I can't walk anywhere. All right, I got her son on the way to come get her. But he's out. her son's coming to get her. Okay. I'm going to climb into the back of that car and get her medicine out for her. I'm already wet. Do you want me to do it? I'm wet too. No, okay. it's okay, guys. I don't need any. It. You just told me you needed it. It's okay. I don't. I don't care. What? Do you have enough insulin on you until you get home? You're, you got a pump, right? Your pump pumps it in automatically. Yeah, but the pump is in there. I just don't leave me here. Please. We can't take you with us. The only place we can take you is jail. Do you want me to go get your medicine? Yeah. Okay. Uh, I'll be right back. All right. Uh, you got flood insurance or whatever they call it. Yeah, you're gonna need it for this one. Brenda, is it in the cooler? What? Is it in the cooler? No. 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 I need you to calm down if you I want your medicine. Calm down. Stop. I can't. Act like a grown up. <laughs> is this it? Yes, okay, go back leave. up on the beach. Okay, don't leave me, please. Alright. See that path? Yeah. You're going to follow that path all the way around up to the park up there. Okay. There's a shower, changing rooms, that's okay. where the park is, and you're going to wait there for your son. Okay. Okay. Oh, I'm Officer Fives with the Police Department. Hey, how you doing? Statement. Yeah, that's what I was looking for. There was, yeah. a, there was a lady with a kid I was looking for. You mind giving me one, too? Yeah, I can give you one, too. Sweet. I got my idea if you want to run it. Cool, thank you. Yes, sir. What were your observations and all? What's up? She slurring her words, stumbling. Um, the lady in the driver's seat, she didn't even speak anything. She didn't really talk to me, right? So she was kind of like... In shock of the whole thing? Stuff, right? Uh, the lady in the passenger seat, she kept arguing with me. She was like, we need to leave here, right? So they had gotten stuck, and the lady in the driver's seat kept trying to pull away as I was talking to her, but they were stuck, so they were spinning. And the lady in the passenger seat, she just kept trying to argue with me. She's like, mm -hmm. like, no, like, we need to get, like, we need to go. Like, we have somewhere to be. I'm like, I don't think you understand, like... Y'all are leaving right now. And she's like, I don't think you realize, like, we didn't hit anybody, so it's not that big of a deal. I was like, it's not that big of a deal. You almost hit a 40 year old little girl. Five, four. I mean, like, missed a little girl by inches. Okay. Inches. Um, and I saw that vehicle, we saw him blue in color coming this direction, and the child actually had to step back in order to dodge out of the way of the vehicle. And she kept traveling that way. Uh, she actually got stuck by the trees, ended up reversing onto the bulls right there. 
and she kind of just got stuck. She went so behind us in through the water because and I, just on the us. on the beach side. Her we, tire tracks were only there's a Asian lady over here. Her tire tracks were like saw, six inches from her. I saw that car. It's scary, and there was like a. You know, my son, he's old enough to kind of see, but there's, there was a little kid, like a little boy right next to us. You know, kids like this little girl is yeah, in this, this, uh, this is fucking crazy, man. I'm sorry, yeah. but this is ridiculous. You can't drive over there. No, that's why it's closed to driving, but she, she went through all but that. But even over there, like, just flying she, Oh, yeah, she can't... Uh, fly at least 30 there. miles an hour, at least. Still would right, This is the kids' park. Oh, yeah. How's it going? Uh, would you mind filling out a witness statement? Yeah. Okay, that's me. You got a mama bear here. They still Perfect. Like all the air and everything is still blowing. I can't get it to turn off either though. So we tried our best. I'm pretty sure your car is shorted up. And because none of your electronics work right now. You can call the tow truck company and tell them where it's at and they'll tell you if they can or can't get there. They may tell you the water's too high, they're not going, or I don't, I don't know what they're going to tell you. You're, the, you're my first. I don't think mine works. It works No, I think he opened it. All right, Sarah. So, are you willing to provide a breath sample for the purpose of determining its alcohol content? That's fine. Yes? Okay. I'm just going to talk to you about some stuff, okay? That's fine. All right. Why did you want to know her name? They have to do a crash report. Okay. Yeah. So, she's a passenger, so. A crash report? Yes. Why a crash report? Because you crashed your car into the ocean. Okay. Yeah. So, what do you remember about the crash? I don't remember a crash. I just remember trying to get out of the beach and trying to be away from people. Okay. So I would try to go into the water to be away. Um, who was it that, who said that I crashed? Uh, there was like, they have like five or six witness statements. I guess people were chasing you down, trying to stop you. Because I guess you almost struck somebody on the on the beach and okay. it's kind of a, kind of a mess. I... I don't remember that. I just know people were saying I almost hit a child, and yeah. I said I would get out of the car, and I would wait for police to come. Okay. And it remains a mystery how Sarah acted so calm and compliant after having just recklessly sped through a crowded beach, endangering dozens of lives, and driving into the ocean. It is unknown whether Brenda ever did make it off the beach that day. Sarah was charged with driving under the influence and reckless driving. Even hours after the incident, she recorded a 0.15 blood alcohol content, double the legal limit. She posted bond in the amount of $1,500 and was released from jail that same day. Despite the overwhelming evidence, she pled not guilty to the charges. She hired a private attorney and waived her right to be present at trial. She finally pled guilty to her DUI charge in court in November. She was subsequently sentenced to 12 months of probation, 60 days on house arrest, a six-month suspension of her driving privileges, 50 hours of community service, an alcohol safety education course, a victim awareness panel, six months with an ignition interlock device on her new vehicle, and around $1,000 in court costs. How do you think this dynamic duo ended up in such a salty situation? Be sure to leave your opinion in the comments. Thank you for watching Cop Cam Nation. Be sure to like and subscribe for more juicy content. Bigger.